before you go to accident, better underscore that. So how much are we really progressing as the people of God? You can come in here seven days a week. And if you're not learning the original assignment, how much have you really progressed? See, religion keeps you full of activities so that you can never feel that void that's down inside of you for the kingdom. So we can come, we can do all the rituals and all of these things, and God is looking down and saying, they have not progressed yet. Why? Because we have not gone back to the assignment. It's the room of the scene from the unseen. Verse 19 says this. It says, In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou returnest unto the ground. For out of it was it thou taken, from dust thou art, and to dust shalt thou return. I was telling you, Pastor, I'm trying to balance. I'm trying to balance my individual study with the class study and with the other things God is talking to me about. So I do, a, I do a separate study for this class. Then I have my own personal individual study. But see, I gotta stay ahead of y'all. Or else you can't leave from behind. So what I'm doing in my individual study, then I gotta go back and balance it with what I'm doing for this class study. And this is what he was showing me. Sweat is the indication that you have lost alignment with God. Sweat is the indication that you're now out of line with your king. They didn't sweat before they disobeyed God. Sweat is an indication that we're out of alignment with God. Sweat means to work at it and vigorously. I was like, wow. Going back to the system. The system tells you you have to work 24-7 in order to make a living. But God did not tell them this until after they disobeyed him, after they got in alignment. they got on the line with them and they start sweating to accumulate what they needed to survive. Matthew says all these things shall be added. Teacher was teaching Sunday when I was studying. He said 90% of the things that we're working for are supposed to be added unto you. But something's added unto you you didn't work for. But the system has got us so far away. Look at me. I keep telling God I'm sick of this system. I'm sick of it. It's got us so far away that we call sweat normal now. We call working hard normal now. That's when Jesus came in Matthew 4 17, he said, What? Repent. For the what? He said, change your way of thinking. Repent on me, come up here and lay down on the altar, cry and all of them. He was saying, change your way of thinking. Your thinking is distorted. Because when Adam fell, your thinking went with Adam. Our thinking has been distorted. We're thinking we got to work and slave for 
these things. Sweat is an indication that you're out of line with God. That's what that meant. But Jesus came back and restored us and put us back in proper alignment. Who's doing something on the job today? And they said they're going to get this thing online today over at this hour building. Look at the guys there. I said, I said, I teach a class tonight. I said, I don't know what time they're going to finish, but I'm going to teach a class tonight. Yeah. <coughs> I'm serious. Because I want to get from under that system. It don't make sense even to me that God can take care of me just teaching us class. My priorities. I told you, I said, I'm going to teach class tonight. I said, you better get it going now. Or they're going to wait till tomorrow. Ralph gone. I'm serious. I'm serious. And it's not to say to come to church, but this is part of my purpose. And whatever your purpose is, it will come become easy. It don't mean you're not supposed to work, but it's supposed to be easy. Toil. We're not supposed to be toiling no more. It's supposed to be easy. And I'm sitting there, I'm saying, be careful what I ask for. Be careful what I ask for, because if they say, well, well, you rather go teach that class than stay on this job? I'm going to tell them, yep. Yeah. God is trying to take me somewhere. He's trying to take all of us somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a passion to be able to walk up to someone and give them a key. That's my desire. That's my desire. Well, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about something that I wouldn't want myself. I said, God, if you bless me with a million dollars, I said, instead of me building a, a, a million dollar house, I said, why not build five two hundred thousand dollars? For everybody on the same playing field that you want. It's a desire. But we want to always say, I got mine, you got yours. Again, that's the system. That's the system. I was somewhere on Thursday, the Lord told me to do something financially. And I didn't do it. That's not me. I went home, and the Lord kept saying, You must stop doing it. You must stop All financial obligation. I couldn't rest that night. I said, God, give me another opportunity. Give me another opportunity. That's what I told him. Because see, if you can't do it, overlook it. Don't think he can trust you, old man. He said, he that's faithful over few, I will make the ruler of the Lord. I said, give me another opportunity. I said, give me another opportunity. And my wife went over on Saturday, and then went into this restaurant. I never seen the people before in the life. We're getting up. And the Lord said, Cover that tag. Mm -hmm. Give me another opportunity. Give me another opportunity. Mm -hmm. Unlock. Time sweat. Mm -hmm. Sweating does not always mean <coughs> sweat coming down. Yeah. But it means that your mind and your thought process is consumed yes, with everyday living. 